Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we talked about prepping a document for printing, so everything related to checking spelling errors, grammars, everything related to text frames, and all the errors that Scribus finds whenever we want to print a document, how to ignore them, and how to correct them. But in today's video, our last video, we're going to talk about the PDF interactive tools, which are the ones here on the right. So this window right here, which you can get here from Windows and PDF tools right there. Let's create a type of document where PDF tools are needed. For example, a contract of some sort. So let's create a banner like this, create a rectangle like this, and then let's have it magenta. And then let's fill it with the title of the contract, for example, this contract like this. Now let's go and change the size of the font and the font itself. Let's have it in the middle and let's change its color to white like this. Okay, and then maybe let's reduce a bit the size of this banner like this. Okay, so this is our banner. And then we're going to have a brief preview in our contract. We can fill it with a sample text from English. We can have two paragraphs. And then we can go ahead and change its font. So maybe we can have it agency FB. We're going to have it a bit bigger like this. And then we can have it underlined. Then we'll have the body of the contract. So let's have it down to there. Okay, and let's fill it with another simple text like this. So let's go to English and maybe nine paragraphs. Okay, maybe too many. So let's delete something. Perfect. And then let's go to our last part in the contract. So the part where we'll need our PDF tools. So for example, let's go ahead and create another text with our terms and condition right here. So terms and conditions, and then inside a sample text from English, only one paragraph. Perfect, so let's add a checkbox from here. So checking this box will mean that the reader has read and accepted the terms and conditions. Let's maybe change their colors, let's have it magenta, so it's better, it sticks out, yeah. So let's go ahead and create a text field now, like this. So a field in which a person that goes on to read the PDF can edit, so it can type in something, and this will be the place for the signature. So we can type in sign here, like this. We can have it on the right and in magenta. So you're going to be able to see these lines, so of this square and this rectangle. If I go on preview mode, you'll see them. But with the checkbox, there's no problem because you actually need to see it. So maybe we can just have it a little bit smaller, like this. But you don't need it for the signature, so let's double click on it and then go on border right here. And then let's have the color none instead of black, like this. But maybe let's create a line, a straight line, by pressing the control button right here so that the person can either hand draw their signature or just type it in following the line. So if I go in preview mode, you'll see that we have the line. Now let's create another box for the date. So let's go here and let's type in date. Let's have it on the right and in magenta like this. And for the date, let's create two different text buttons. So here we have one, which is going to be for the month, and then another one, which is going to be for the day. And then the last one will be for the year, but we're going to use another PDF tool for the year. So let's just go ahead and check these shoes. So let's double click on the first one. Let's delete the border. This is going to be the one for the month. So let's go on validate and let's edit the value which will be validated by the PDF program that the person will use to read the PDF file. So let's go on value must be greater than or equal to 
1 unless or equal to 12 because of course we're talking about month so it's going okay and with the day let's go also to border and then to validate value must be greater than or equal to 1 unless or equal to 31 like this click on OK and then let's go ahead with the insert PDF combo box so we have a combo right here okay as you can see we have this little arrow indicates that that you'll have a list and the person can decide a unit in this list that they want to use for the year let's click on the right side of our mouse and then let's go to edit text with story editor and let's edit so for example we can have 2019 2020 2021 2023 and 2024 like this let's click on the green button right here and also with this let's double click and delete the border so none okay last but not least let's create a pdf push button so let's maybe put it here if we double click on it we can manage the border so for example we can have it underlined and then normal and in magenta okay and then we can go on action so as of now we have no action but we can change it so for example we can go to named so we can go to the first page by clicking on this but since our document only has one page let's select another action so we can go to the previous page next page last page go back go forward go back to doc go forward doc go to page actual size and let's find one that can work for us for example print like this so once the person will have signed everything it can click on this button to print it let's click on ok as you can see this is our button right here and we can type in something like push to print right here we can have it in the middle and smaller and in magenta like this okay so if we go on the preview mode you'll see that this is our scribus contract like this terms and conditions sign here the date and then push to print so let's exit the preview mode let's go on file let's go on export and save as pdf this is the errors that scribus is telling us about they're all concerning the button and the text fields because they are empty so it says that empty text frame but of course we can ignore them because the point is that they have to be empty so that the person that reads the pdf can fill them in with information so let's go on ignore errors and then we can edit its name for example document 4 we can choose where we want it to be in our computer and then let's go on save so now let's go ahead and open up our document so this is our document as you can see it has all the colors of the document that we created on scribus and also all the fonts and here are our terms and conditions as you can see and here are our pdf tools so let's go to terms and condition let's accept it like this then let's sign so you can type it in like this name surname or you can just draw on it like this and create your signature then with the date you can go and select the month so for example three and then the day so for example 24 and then let's go ahead and select in between the years that we typed in so for example 2021 and let's see what happens if we choose a value for the month and the day that is not valid so for example let's go on the month and let's put 50. as you can see the program that i'm using to see these pdf to read this pdf is acknowledging me of the error so let's click on ok and you'll see that the value was cancelled and the same will happen with the day so if i go with 50 you'll see that the error was signaled to me like this now let's go ahead and see if the push to print works so let's go on this button and then let's push on it as you can see the printer window has opened on my computer and then i can go on print right here and print it so let's review what we learned today we learn how to use PDF tools to create a document that needs them, for example, a contract like this. We learned about the PDF checkbox and then the PDF text box. And we also learn how to create a PDF 
list from which the reader can choose a value. We also learned how to edit the valid value inside the PDF text boxes. And then we also learned how to use a PDF button and how to edit its action. And then we learned how to export the document as a PDF in order to have the PDF tools working. That is all for today, you guys. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel in order to stay updated in our next video course.